as an ears, nose, and throat specialist, I have come to a conclusion that when it comes to management of GERD, taking antacids and taking PPIs will never be enough if ever you do not also address the root cause of GERD. So aside from medications, yes, they can help, but it may not help sustainably if you do not correct at least three things when it comes to GERD management. That is quality of food, timing of food and water intake, and lastly, your anxiety level. So food, it's not enough to just remove the ones that are spicy or the ones that are sour, but most importantly, you have to remove the foods that are causing inflammation in the body. So most highly inflammatory foods would be the sugar, the ones loaded with fructose, and all of the other high carbohydrate, starchy foods. And also aside from those, seed oils. So factory made seed oils, vegetable oil, canola oil, corn, rice bran oil, all of these shortening and margarines can be very inflammatory when it comes to your body. And the second one would be timing. Try to take your last meal four to six hours before your bedtime and your last fluid intake, bulk of fluid intake about two to four hours before your intended sleeping time. And lastly, your anxiety level. If you don't address your own anxiety level, if you're always under stress, even if you're eating right, even if you're sticking to the right fasting schedule, your GERD might be worse because of the inflammation brought about by stress and anxiety that is producing too much acid in your stomach lining and decreasing the protective barrier or the mucose lining in your stomach. And erroneous reflux of acid from your stomach going to your esophagus and then going to your hypopharynx and eventually to your oropharynx or your throat where you can already taste that sour taste. So remember that when it comes to GERD, maybe it's not enough to just depend on medications. You have to look into your lifestyle as well. If you wish to know more, we have a program for that. Reach out to our admins in our Facebook and remember to stay low carb so that we all stay safe. Thank you.